What is up, my new event friends? Today, I'm going to show you a little bit about telescope and how to extend it. Nope, not that type of telescope, this type of telescope. So telescope is an awesome plugin in NeoVim for fuzzy finding and looking for strings or for different files within your code base and quickly finding them. This should replace any need for nerd tree or other file finders and let you quickly find exactly what you're looking for. Telescope already has a giant list of extensions that you can use and pull into your project. But what if none of these solve your problem? Well, you're in luck because I'm going to show you how to build your own telescope extension to get started. There's four main components that you're going to need to know about when building an extension. The picker, the finder, the sorter, and then any actions. A picker contains a list of items supplied by a finder. Pickers also do sorting, which can be configured by a sorter. When an element is selected, there's an event that triggers an action, which does something with the selection. Think of this as hitting enter or using some other key combination like control Y or control M. Before we can get started, make sure you have NeoVim and Telescope both installed. Once you've done that, open up a file, you can name it whatever you want, and dump in this code here. So this is a sample where we configure a picker, a finder, and then we grab the config to be able to use the generic sorter. It's good practice to pass in ops into your telescope extension so that others can override the behavior exactly how they want it to be. In this example, we're going to show three items in our finder. For right now, it's not going to do much because if we hit enter, then it will just open up a new buffer with the name of that color. To run the extension, do Lua file and then the percent sign, which is going to be the current buffer. If you run that, you should see something like this where it says, desert, elf lord, and blue. And like I said, if you go up and down the selection or you narrow down the search with different letters, if you hit enter, then you should see a new buffer that gets open with blue, which is interesting, but not that creative. Now I've added the attach mappings function into our picker, and this is going to allow us to manipulate and do things like setting the color scheme or whenever we pick our color. We can use the vim command of using color scheme and whatever selection is. And inside of this, we use the select default. The good thing about using this is that we're not overriding the mapping for enter. And instead, if the user maps the select default, then they can get the same behavior with whatever the key map is that they desire. You can see from the first couple of lines, we brought in a couple of new requires with actions and action state. If we call actions.close, that's going to close the prompt. And notice that we can actually get the selected entry after we close it. It doesn't really matter whenever we close it, but we do need attach mappings to return true. Otherwise, it's going to throw an error. Now, if we run our example, we should see the color change whenever we select an item. So do Lua file and then percent. We see this. If we hit blue, then we should see it change to blue. All right, now we're going to make things a little bit better without having a hard coded list. Instead, we're going to get all the colors that are on our system and be able to switch between those. So we can use the Vim function get completion which is going to do the color autocompletion. If we run this, we should see all the colors that we have on our system. So do Lua file and then percent. And you can see all the different colors that we have here, like Elf Lord. Next up, let's add a couple functions so that we can go up and down the list and actually see the color change without having to hit enter. To do that, we'll add a couple more functions where we'll do the next color or we'll do the previous color. And whenever we do that, we need to call actions move selection next and then call our color scheme command to set the color. For both of these colors, we set the map to where we can do either control J or control K for up and down or control N and P. We could enhance this further by doing the up and down arrow, but I'll let you work on that yourself. Let's run this and see how it looks. We do Lua file and percent. Then if we go up and down, we can see that each of the colors change just how we want them to. And we can see exactly which one we want to select. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about is setting a different telescope theme. So we had the large menu to go through the options, but instead we might want to do a different drop down menu. If we do require telescope themes, get drop down, we'll see a different drop down style menu. Success. Now we can go up and down and look at all our colors and see exactly which one we want to select. If you're looking for a way to just run a command on the command line and get the output for it and show it in telescope so you can navigate through it, check out this easypick.invim. This lets you configure it so that you can run different commands and run through telescope and get a nice little output. I plan to do more advanced tutorials on telescope and actually work on a few telescope extensions myself that I really want to play with. So stay tuned and subscribe and like this video if you like the content. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.